Hello again and welcome to my bedroom. Um, today I'm going to share with you another thing that I built. This is from a schematic that I pulled off the internet. And it is a tube amp. Uh -huh. This is a 2 watt output. 35 C5s and push pull. I don't know why it does that. This thing still has kinks to be worked out. It does work though. Now I'm going to run it from my iPod here. Not careful the base control oscillate. I don't know why you can see that. Oh, hold on a sec. Let me shut the light. Should be able to see the tubes going now. Yeah. This is based on a um, This is based on a calculator, the bottom half of an adding machine. Now I have it, I should do something about that home, shouldn't I? I have it running through another amplifier, because digital audio is sensitive and I don't want to damage the output. This is what I refer to as my stereo porta amp. I use this with the computer. I designed it to operate on three different inputs or outputs. These two switches select them. I simply took an amplifier like this one from a pair of computer speakers and these speakers from an old stereo cut a nice big hole in it and glued the amp in place. That controls the internal speakers, master power, battery charge, and AC DC. There's two one amp batteries in here. That connector is for AC line. A nice power supply in here. And there's a battery selector switch here. I have too much time on my hands, I think. Now, well, that's about it for today, but there's one more thing I'm going to share with you. And that is my clock. That used to be our microwave. After it died, I took the uh, faceplate.
and now it sits on my wall.